Alright, today we're doing an oil and filter change on the 08 Honda Odyssey. I think that's a, if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, that's a J series, that's the J35 VTEC. So, let's get it. Alright, so first we remove the drain plug and uh, I'm just going to drain this for a few minutes. Next, we go ahead and uh, try to remove this oil filter. All right, we got a trusty uh, oil filter or, yeah, oil filter wrench, not a strap wrench. Ugh, it's slippery. It's hard doing this with one hand, but... I'll be able to loosen it up by hand. There we go. Oh shit, this is messy. See what we got in here. Well, oops. I don't know why I did that, but. All right, while we're down here, we might as well drain the coolant. So, as you can see, this is the front bumper right here that we're underneath. And if you look under right there, that's the drain plug. You just twist it to the left, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and just hold the bucket underneath. So here we go. All right, hopefully this is not too crazy. There shouldn't be much coolant in there to begin with. Whoa, shit! Jesus! Whoa! Oh, shit! That does not taste good. Let's catch both. There we go. Give that a minute to drain. Let's put this in there. When you're draining your oil and your um, your coolant, be sure to take off the caps, just so that you know it releases pressure a little better. So that's the oil cap right there, uh, coolant radiator cap, and this is the. Overflow, res overflow reservoir tube cap. Just, you know, take them off just to relieve pressure so it flows a little more freely, a little faster. While we're waiting for everything to drain, we might as well go ahead and do the air filter. So first we gotta take a Phillips head and remove all four of these screws. One, two, three, four. All right, so we got all the bolts removed. So we're gonna go ahead and take this cover, put it to the side. Ugh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Man. Uh, filter doesn't look too bad actually, but it's actually doing its job. This is the intake side, so it's doing its job pretty well. But we're gonna change it anyway. It's got a standard issue STP SA113. That's the air filter you're gonna need for this bad boy. So let's go ahead and pop it in. There's pretty much only one way to do this. You can't really mess it up. I guess you can, but you want to pop these fins down. So the f basically, I don't even know how to explain it. See the thicker side? You want that down and the flat side on top like this. All right, so all you want to do to put the air filter in is lift this up and pop it in. Make sure it's seated correctly. There's like a gasket around it, so make sure everything fits up as it should. Line up the bolt holes. And you should be good to go. All right. That air filter is tightened up, so let's start to work backwards. 
what we're going to do is we're going to close up the oil system and then uh, refill it with the necessary amount of oil. All right, so for the oil filter, I got the STP S7317. Nothing crazy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some oil, as you know, and put it around the gasket like so. just to give it a better seal. And also we're gonna fill it up with some oil so that when you start the engine for the first time, it sucks up some oil and it doesn't get a dry start as they call it. So here we go. I like to fill it about three quarters of the way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place this up here where it belongs. It's gonna leak a little bit. Be prepared for that. We're just gonna hand tighten it, basically. All right, so just to correct myself, it's 4.2 quarts that go into this Honda, not 6.5. And uh, so we got everything tightened up on the bottom and the oil filter, and we just put in about 4.2 quarts in the, in the engine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up with some water, let it run for about 15 minutes, drain it, do it again, drain it, and then we're gonna put the coolant in and we should be good to go. Oh yeah, and don't forget to plug the coolant system back up. Alright, now we start her up with fresh oil and no coolant. Smooth, baby, smooth. Alright, and we are here at the Arthur Goulart and Sons excavation. And there's the man himself, the myth, the legend. Arthur Goulart helping me out. Nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, pop this open. Might as well leave the car on. All right, so the way I'm gonna fill this up is I'm gonna go ahead and just fill the radiator up as well. Just for fast, it's gonna be a lot faster. And um, yeah. All right guys, so we're just gonna wait for the thermostat to open. And once that opens, it should help circulate whatever's in the, the cooling system. And from there, we'll just, you know, circulate it for a little bit and then drain it and repeat a few times and then refill. Once that water starts clearing up, it's, it starts uh, being clear instead of green coolant, then we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with fresh coolant and that's it. Top off the reservoir and we're all set, good to go. Now, one thing I forgot to mention that you have to be careful for is when an engine is hot and you put cold water in it, you gotta be careful um, because it can crack the block. So make sure that your engine isn't hot when you put cold water in there um yeah you don't want to crack your block also i'm not responsible for that if you do that's your fault you didn't watch the whole video okay moving on i know i said i was gonna put start putting in the coolant through the oil res i mean through the coolant reservoir overflow but instead i'm just gonna put it in straight to the radiator and just flush it out like that so it's clear while running the engine and um, yeah because the whatever you put into that coolant reservoir is just gonna stay in there so should have known that should have said something didn't realize it until it was too late but remember what I said about putting cold water into your hot engine remember that all right after the draining of the coolant it's recommended that we go in here and turn on the heat all the way, I guess. I, I, don't, I really don't know how to mess with this vehicle yet. So, 
see. Where's the rear on? Okay. I think that's high heat. Pretty much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill our system with coolant. Alright, so we have this Peak Original Equipment Technology. Um, I guess it's supposed to be comparable to like OEM coolant. I guess we're going to have to find out. This is all they had at AutoZone. So what we're going to do is just fill it. This 2008 Honda Odyssey takes two gallons of this. This is exactly two gallons. So should be able to take it all. One thing to watch out for is to um, constantly squeeze this hose over here just to make sure all the air bubbles are out. Um, keep the engine running at, uh, you know, operating temperatures. And just slowly but surely put it in there. Let that coolant get in there. I'm probably going to have to go way slower than this. There we go. So as you can see, there's bubbles coming up from here once I fill it all the way up. And that's basically the air escaping out of the cooling system. So you keep doing this. Once it gets to the bottom, you refill it and then just keep watching for the bubbles. All right, be sure to squeeze the hoses because as you squeeze the hoses, more air, trapped air gets out. All right, all right close the cap. All right, good to go. All right, guys, so that's all set. Um, basically, you wanna drive around with it. After a while, the air bubbles will start coming to the top. You, um, when the engine is cool, you release, you know, when you have it cooled down, you release the, um, the cap. This thing right here. So you basically wanna pop it open and let the, when, it's, when the engine's cooled down, let the air escape. Um, and then close it back up after you fill it up with some more of this, just top it off. Then we want to go over to the overflow over here, the overflow bottle, and then we want to fill that up as well. All right, so that wraps it up for our video on how to do an oil change and a coolant change on a 2008 Honda Odyssey minivan.